English vocabulary words for sports equipment from EspressoEnglish.net. In soccer, you get points by scoring a goal inside the goal. The vertical parts of the goal are called the goal posts, and the horizontal part on top is the crossbar. The person who tries to keep the ball out of the goal is called the goalkeeper. The players wear a special type of shoes called cleats and also shin guards to protect their legs from kicks. In baseball, you hit the ball with a bat, and the other players can catch the ball with a glove. You get points, which are called runs in baseball, by finishing running around all four bases. In American football, you get points by scoring a touchdown. That's running with the ball into the end zone. You can also get points by scoring a field goal by kicking the ball between the goal posts. In basketball, you get points by making a basket, but the equipment itself is called a hoop, a basketball hoop. Volleyball. Tennis and table tennis, which is also called ping pong, all use a net. In tennis, you hit the ball with a racket, and in ping pong, you hit the ball with a paddle, which is smaller. In hockey, you get points by putting the puck into the goal using your stick. Hockey players wear skates on their feet. And pads to protect their bodies from impact. In golf, you hit the ball with a club. Your objective is to put the ball into the hole. In bowling, you roll the ball down the lane and try to knock down the pins. If you knock down all ten pins, that's called a strike. Boxers often use a mouth guard to protect their teeth. In biking, motorcycle racing, snowboarding, and other high-velocity or high-impact sports, the players wear helmets to protect their heads. And if a player has an injury, they might use a brace to support a part of their body while they play. You can learn lots more words in the Vocabulary Builder course available at EspressoEnglish.net. Each level of this course teaches you hundreds of useful words, together with pictures to make them more memorable.